Welcome to Jack's Tech Corner and another Photoshop Elements 11 video tutorial. First, let me say, if you want to learn even more about Photoshop Elements, stop by my website, jackstechcorner.com and check out the great uh, DVD collection there. Pick up one of the DVDs today. It helps the show and it'll definitely help you out in your photo editing. So today we're talking about Photoshop Elements 11 and as the title said, I'm sure, it's called Popping Eyes. Now I wanted to show you because when you take a picture of any person, the eyes tell the story. So I want to show you how you can make the eyes pop in Photoshop Elements 11. Now this will also work in Photoshop Elements 10 and 9, but this particular tutorial may not work in any version earlier than that. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's the picture that we're going to be using. And this is a portrait session I did recently. So we're going to work on just the eyes. Now you can just sit here and start working on these eyes like this, but that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So what I like to do is you have two ways to do this. Either one, use your navigator pane, which most times by default, it is not turned on on your Photoshop Elements 11. So you need to go over here to Window, the pull-down menu for Window, and turn on Navigator. Just check the box, and the Navigator window will come on. What this allows you to do is to zoom the picture up. And bring that picture up so we can see what's going on here. And we can move this little red box around here to show you where we're at and what we're going to be working on. Now. With that said, that's a great way to do it because then the navigator is there. But a quicker way is to learn your keyboard shortcuts. And the keyboard shortcut to zoom in a picture is hold your control key down on your keyboard. And if you have a wheel mouse, which you probably do, and a lot of people say, well, I never really used a wheel. Well, hold the control key down and if you pull the wheel toward you, you'll be zooming the picture in. If you push the wheel away from you, you'll zoom the picture out. It makes it very, very easy to work on your pictures if it's more zoomed in. Now, naturally, the higher resolution your camera is, the more you'll be able to zoom in and work on it closer because you have more megapixels to work with. Next, if you hold your space bar down, you can actually click left mouse, click your button on your mouse and you can drag your picture around and move it around to where you're working on. So once again, let's hold the shift key down, left click and move the picture around. So now, like I said, we're going to work on these eyes here. So we're going to bring this picture up a little bit more so we can see what's going on with the eyes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and duplicate the background image by doing a control or command J. Once that is done with Photoshop elements 11, and the new toolbars, we know now that they're all in their own little areas, I guess. So we're going to go to Enhance. And on the left, if you go down, you'll find the Detailed Smart Brush and also the Smart Brush tool. So it could be set on either one of those, Smart Brush or Detailed Smart Brush. We're going to go to Detailed Smart Brush. And then we're going to click the little pull-down menu here. And normally I found that it was set such as this with these small icons. Now with the small icons, you got to put your mouse over. It's kind of like using gradients and you got to see what each one of these are. I kind of like the way the old versions were set up. So if you click the little pull mint down menu right here, go to small list. This gives you the name beside the picture. Let's go ahead and click on Brighten Eyes. So if I double click Brighten Eyes, my brush size is set already. I can come over to the eye now and even better control over your brush is your left and right bracket keys. Now, if you've never used a bracket key before, they're underneath of the plus equal sign on your keyboard. You can go to the right and make it bigger or to the left and make it smaller. What we're going to do now is we just want to paint or brush right over the eyes. 
We're going to just start brushing. And if you go over, that's okay. Don't worry about it. I'll show you how to fix that in just a minute. So let's just start brushing over the eye. And we're just going to bring the eye out here. So you can already see how everything's coming up. It's getting brighter. The eyes tell the story into the soul. Have you ever heard that? All right. And get back over this one. To the right and to the left eye. So we do both eyes at the same time. Over here. And now the eyes are really coming up. They're coming awake. That's what I call this. So once we do that, we did go over here on the back side of this eye just a little bit. So this little brush tool comes up right here. This is a new selection. You're basically making a selection with this tool. You can add to it or subtract from it. Now we're going to subtract and we'll just go over this back side here and clean that up a little bit. All right. Now to control the amount of brightness on the eyes, if we go back to our layers panel on the right and double click on the little layer thumbnail here. It's going to give us our levels control. Now using our levels control, we can bring in the blacks a little bit. We can bring it down. We can bring the white side up, make it even whiter. And we can bring the midtones. I like to play with the midtones because it's a very, very small amount of change. And that's where I like to keep my change at the midtone areas. Once you're done, click the little uh, plus sign up here, or close sign, and that closes that up. Now, you know, an edit to me is never good enough until I get everything uh, set up here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you that in working with the eyes, I believe you also have to work with the eyelashes. I think that's important because you're bringing the eyes out, so why not bring the eyelashes up with it? Now, we're going to do that with a little sharpening tool. So we'll click on this little diamond shaped thing here down in our toolbar. We'll find that we have the blur tool, a smudge tool, and the sharpening tool. And you can see it looks like a sharp little triangle. All you're going to do here is make the eyes even bigger so we can see what's going on here. And I'll bring us over a little bit towards you here so we can see. All we're going to do is just add some sharpening to the eyelashes. I don't like to add black. Some people like to paint these and add more color to them. I just like to make them a little bit more sharper, a little bit more defined. It's not sharpening like a point sharpen. It's sharpening like your camera lens, you know, being very, very detailed and very sharp. So you make something sharp, you're making it more detailed. You're bringing out the details. That's why they say lens is either very sharp or it's not. You can go over this a few times. And our strength right now is set to 80%. That's usually good. Like I said, we're working way up here. So the details really comes out even, even more, I think, when you start to uh, go back to the normal size. And I think we should be able to show you here our before and after shots. See, now I'm just going to hold my shift key. Now, that's why it's good to know these shortcuts. I'm going to pull it across here to the other eye. And we're just going to sharpen this eye. Just like so. All right. It's very, very easy. It's a very nice little edit. And uh, it'll help you a lot in your portraits just to be able to clean the eyes up a little bit. Make them a little bit sharper, a little uh, more detailed, and a little brighter. There we go. All right. With this, I'm going to hold the control key down and roll my... Uh, Roll my mouse out or, or uh, towards the computer. Hold this down, move this up a little bit. And you can see now there's a definite difference in the eyes. Here, let's watch this. If I turn this off and turn it back on, off, on, there's a definite difference in those eyes. And the eyes are, they say, the story to the soul. 
So that'll give you a lot more detail in your eyes. And later on, we'll take a look at some other little touch-ups you can do to your portraits to make them even nicer. Once again, thank you for watching my YouTube videos. And I hope if you're not, you please click the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. And once again, like I said, if you have a chance, stop by my website, jackstechcorner.com. Pick up one of the DVD collections on there. And you're going to be set off to a great uh, success rate with your Photoshop Elements editing. So thanks, and I'll see you back here next time. Until then, keep your shutters clicking, keep your editors editing, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.